Folks, thanks for coming on the line with us today. My name is John Dubach. I'm a Vice President of Agent Success for Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 45 minutes or so discussing the tool that you have available to you without cost as a contracted agent with Premier Marketing. Uh, the webinar is currently titled Using the Medicare Supplement Quote Engine Free. We're going to change that in the future because well, we use it for a whole lot, a whole lot more than just Medicare supplement work. And we'll show you how that works very briefly here in just a moment. We'll be spending a little bit of time giving us some background on Premier Marketing, and then we'll go into the opportunities we have in the Medicare market, specifically with Medicare supplement types that we have available, briefly address some Medicare Advantage, uh, options that we have, um, but basically show you how the Premier Quote Engine will work for you for Medicare Advantage products and Medicare Supplement products, specifically pointed at MedSupps, but it will also show you how we cross-sell other programs with our basic health benefits, be they a Medicare Supplement plan or a Medicare Advantage program, and we'll also discuss the marketing programs and some of the marketing programs we have in place to help you as an agent with Premier. Premier is a national marketing organization founded in 1968. That's part of the integrity marketing platform with offices across the country. We're an insurance wholesaler that offers insurance services to work with and through independent insurance agents. The contracts available are generally vested immediately at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available for those who qualify. As I mentioned, we were founded in 1968, so that makes this year our 50th anniversary. We're proud of that longevity and the, the success that has come with growing from a small family-owned agency to one of the largest organizations of its type in the country. We are, through 2018, the largest producer with United Healthcare for their Medicare Advantage products. We hold that same ranking with Anthem and with Meridian Care. And with a lot of the work that we've done this year moving into 2019, we'll see additional companies uh, fall under that same leadership role with our organization. This gives you an idea of the platform of partners that we have across the country as part of the Integrity Marketing Program. And we do offer a full portfolio of insurance products, including Medicare Advantage programs, of course, with Medicare Advantage and MedSup offerings, in addition to Part D prescription drug plans. We also offer life insurance and annuity programs, including final expense, pre need and programs for long-term and short-term care, in addition to disability income programs. The ancillary products are basically the types that fall into one of three categories. They use a dental vision hearing products, critical illness cancer programs, or hospital indemnity programs. This gives you an idea of the depth of that portfolio for Medicare Advantage. You'll notice the large national carriers are all part of the platform. In addition to a number of the smaller regional programs that are of benefit to the agents in that area. That same philosophy carries over into standalone drug plans with the PDT portfolio, labeling and laying out all of the big boys in the industry there, and a huge portfolio of Medicare supplement programs that are uh, part and parcel to today's presentation with a Medicare supplement quote engine. When we look at the Medicare market in general, anytime someone comes on the phone or if you go to a meeting in person with a marketing an organization like ours or a, an insurance carrier, they speak to the aging of the baby, baby boomer population and how the market is growing at 10,000 people a day or more. And that's true, but one of the things we have to think about in the Medicare world is the fact that that's not the entire market. About a sixth of the folks that are on traditional Medicare or the Medicare offerings 
are under the age of 65 accessing that benefit because they are disabled and are part of that population. So we're looking at a market that is in excess of 50,000 individuals, and it's a huge source of daytime activities for prospects that need our help and the programs that we offer. Pardon me. What we're seeing as well, moving into 2019, is some changes that come about because of legislation in the recent history about how we can market moving into 2019 with Medicare Advantage programs and how that affects the Medicare supplement market as well. The old MEDP program, the disenrollment program that used to exist for the last few years from January 1st to Valentine's Day, February 14th, is being replaced with an open enrollment program that lasts the first three months of the year. So from January 1st to, to March 31st, those folks who are enrolled in a Medicare Advantage program at that time have a one-time opportunity to switch to a different Medicare Advantage plan drop that Medicare Advantage plan and return to traditional Medicare, original Medicare administration with Part A and Part B. Not that they gave it up, but changing the administrator back to the traditional administrator. Or they can also enroll in a standalone Part D program if the individual is losing that coverage as part of an MEPD plan. So most of the Medicare Advantage plans that are out there have prescription drug coverage incorporated into the program, and this gives an individual the opportunity if they give up an MAPD program and they go back to original Medicare, they can pick up a standalone drug program without penalty. It also, the new enrollment, disenrollment period, gives the beneficiary the opportunity to drop their standalone Part D program should they choose to do so. One of the things that's going to affect us moving forward after this year when we speak to Medicare supplement programs is the fact that they are sunsetting plan C and F for people who are aging into Medicare moving forward at that time. It does not eliminate those programs for the folks that currently have it. It'll be interesting to see how uh, rates stay for those who stay on it into the future since not a huge influence of new people are going into it, new younger people uh, particularly, but it also gives them the opportunity for folks that are currently on it and not newly eligible to move forward. When we look at traditional Medicare supplement programs, for those of you who have done a little bit of work in that area, we realize that these plans have been standardized and modernized. That a plan A is a plan A is a plan A with just every company when it comes to the benefits that have to be part of that program. It's all standardized. And it varies according to the plan type, those benefits uh, that a person selects. What we see as part of that sunsetting program are plan C and plan F no longer being available for the newly eligible population. What the government was looking to do with that legislation is make certain that anyone on Medicare still had skin in the game out of their pocket, so no dollar one coverage completely across the board. We're seeing a lot of carriers then speak to Plan Gs and Plan Ns as opportunities for people moving forward. When we look at the Medicare Supplement Quote Engine then to determine some of the differences in these programs, we see that having access to a quote engine not only does a lot with uh, making our life simpler with not having to manually create a rate, but it also uh, gives us an opportunity to compare programs side by side, which we can obviously with a Medicare Supplement Plan and do so compliantly. So to access the quote engine with our organization, you have to have a contract in place in the Medicare world to access it, be it a Medicare supplement, standalone 
PDP program, Medicare Advantage program, but then you would go into the sales and marketing tab in our website at www.premiersmi.com and request access. You'll notice that'll take you to a secondary screen which will ask you to either launch the coding tool, which if you have permission will do so obviously, or download the coding tool app. You have to request access to these. Um, some marketers are doing a very good job of making certain they follow up with anyone with a new Medicare contract to make certain they're aware of the fact they have access to that tool without cost. When you do have access to the tool, it takes you to another site, a pop-up for you, that allows you to log in and begin use of that website. It gives you options for five different categories of programs available to you as a contracted agent with Premier Marketing. Obviously, the Medicare Supplement category that we're going to spend a little bit of time on here in just a little bit, Medicare Advantage programs with PDP options available. There is a category for final expense, dental, and hospital indemnity as well. What we're going to do today, in addition to operating the quote engine to see how Medicare supplements are handled on it, but we're also going to take that a step farther and look at these programs and how you can use this piece of software to fill in the gaps with a hospital indemnity program or speak to uh, the need for additional dental coverage and how you go about doing that. It, when you select uh, the category, gives you different fields that you have to fill in in order to be accurate with the quote that is generated. It asks for the zip code in which the person resides, how old they are, whether or not they indulge in tobacco, the effective date that you're looking for for the program, whether the person you're speaking with is a male or female, what plan type that you're looking for, it defaults to a sort by price. You can change that, and I'll show you that in a minute. And do you wish to apply household discount to the quotes? And that varies according to carrier requirements for that household discount. Some carriers require just one individual having a contract with that carrier, but another adult in that household. Other carriers will require both of the individuals in that household to have a program or a plan with uh, the carrier in, in question. It gives you some information then on how to do some of the same things for Medicare Advantage PDP programs, hospital indemnity programs, and dental programs. Keep in mind, you don't have to use a base program of health coverage, either Medicare Advantage or MedSup, to access quotes for the final expense, hospital indemnity programs, or dental programs as well. They will stand alone if that's your purpose in using the quote engine for them. Here's your final expense data that you need. And what we're gonna do now is basically go into the quote engine itself. As I mentioned, as you are approved for use of the quoting engine, it'll give you the login stance for it. Um, you create your username. Generally, it's your email address. The um, password that you have is one that you designate. You sign into it. It also, of course, gives you an opportunity. And it'll pop you into the program that gives you the opportunity to run quotes in those categories. One of the things that we see a lot of agents do is use this program for Medicare supplements with a couple of things in mind. We're adding a pay, but it gives you then the opportunity to see what programs are most competitive in your particular chosen market or an option for you to run complimentary Medicare supplement reviews 
for your prospects and your clients. Compare a number of Medicare supplement plans in the current situation that we have based off of price, run a quote for those individuals through that system. Medicare Advantage programs, it gives you an idea of being able to pull additional information. You can't use this to compare programs from one MMA plan to another side by side. That isn't a compliant fashion. You have to use Medicare.gov or one of the specialty programs like our Medicare Center to do that. And then it gives you the opportunity to quote the others as well. The cross quoting, the cross selling is something I'm going to demonstrate in a moment. But let's look at the Medicare supplement programs. Bear with me a moment. So I have just demonstrated the same tendency many people have at an elevator where you think pushing the button is going to make you quicker if you do it multiple times, not so much. But here's the screen, as I mentioned before, that pops up when you're using this program to quote Medicare supplement plans. It asks for the home zip code of the individual that you're visiting with. I'm going to pull one for North Dallas. Um, I sit in a, an office in Dallas, Texas, so I'll pull that. Let's look at a person aging into Medicare or age 65 that doesn't use tobacco. It's looking for an effective age, the first of the next month. They live in the county. This is a lady, obviously. And we're looking at a plan G in this circumstance, sorted by price, and we have an applied household discount. Because many times that opportunity will come once we demonstrate our services and how we are showing a number of plans. So the spouse will sometimes go, wow, quote me too. Well, if you do that, we then obviously can apply the household discount. When you do that, you just pump another button. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of patience and not pop it more than once. And there we go. It lays out the Medicare supplement plan based on price. This then gives us an opportunity to be aware of what is happening in our market and what other carriers we may need to contract with to keep our people in our book of business and offer them a program at some of the best rates we have available in the market. Keep in mind, that's not the only reason why Someone buys a Medicare supplement plan, one over another based on price. Some want a name, some want other particular uh, reasons why, because even though the standard benefits are all modernized and an A plan is an A plan, a G plan is a G plan, some of them may offer extras on the backside above the minimum required. And then, of course, there may be circumstances where, well, the health plan is available, but they have a health condition. At 65, in a guarantee issue situation, won't come into play. But we have here on the left an opportunity then to go into different health conditions and see how the different carriers handle that. One of the other things we want to do is look at some of the market analytics that are available, and it'll give us an opportunity to see, in a singular glance, what the rate increases are as the person ages, so we have that premium increase, which is blocked in. We see in this circumstance, the, the company that comes up least expensive in this particular analysis, Western Union, a life insurance company, is telling us that they're banded for the first two years, so the rate remains solid at age 68. It takes a small increase of 3.7%, about 3.5% moving forward up. So they're averaging based on age, an increase of 1.8% per year. If you consider that medical cost trend is running double digits, they're doing a good job in maintaining the premium based on just aging. Regular increase history, while this plan hasn't been around long enough for them to really have that data, uh, with this in this particular incarnation being introduced into this market in early October of 2017, it also gives you an idea of how much business is on the books. If we click another option and we discover that, wow, I'm 65 as well in addition to my wife, 
I'm paying much more than that for my Medicare supplement plan. What would our rates be if we both take the policy? We can add the household discount fees. Ask it to think again. In Western Union, in this particular circumstance, doesn't change a whole heck of a lot because we're at 65. What we saw is a rebundling of some of the plans thereafter. It remains the least expensive of uh, the programs in this analysis, however, as well. One of the things that you'll note as you go through here is it gives you um, the information as to whether or not that company requires a policy fee when the, when the program is taken out. It gives you access to a paper application if necessary. A whole bunch of these companies, the vast majority of them obviously, speak to the need to do things electronically because it's a cleaner process for all involved, a quicker process as well in getting the program issued and you paid as well, something to consider. But it also gives you an idea of the size of the organization that you're dealing with. We'll notice as we go into Limico, a new offering in the market mid-year this year, data for the premiums hasn't even been formulated into the uh, analysis here. We go through and we see a number of companies that are um, smaller in nature. Then you get into some of the biggies with the name brands of Humana, Cigna, going into um, other folks that are available, United World Live Team, Mutual, Omaha, Aetna's offering, and other carriers that come about as part of this analysis. It takes quite a while to get down to uh, um, the 22nd company that's here, which is AERP's offering insured by United Healthcare. And you'll notice the difference is about $35 a month. So you're talking spread on these companies at age 65, while well, $35 is about a third of additional premium. It's still not a huge spread for some of these individuals. So then for someone who is getting into this program or offering this niche product in the market and hadn't done a lot of mixed sucks before, a question we commonly get is, well, which company shall I take? Well, as you can see, you got a whole lot of offering choices there as well. You'll have to take into consideration some of the underwriting that comes into play with these companies as a person ages past the guarantee issue portion of it at age 65. Um, we also want to look at what kind of marketing material and support are available from the organization itself. Do they have any extra incentives that come as part of selling their product? And what kind of back office support do we get from these organizations when it comes to questions that we have as we write business with them? Um, also, it's nice to know if that organization has their own electronic function, um, a way where we're contracting with them that we can quote that company directly should someone want to uh, ask the difference between an F and a G or an N. And we have basically printed out this analysis and we have that company software available. You can do that very easily then in that circumstance. Because as you go through and you create these analysis for individuals, some agents like to provide this information ahead of time and go in and explain the differences, not only between the companies, but the plan choices. So let's say this person is aware of the fact, or you make them aware of the fact that the G plan is gonna be the new go-to in many circumstances, even though F is most popular now. We see that that $102 program on a plan G is $100. 3375 on a plan F. That $32 a month times 12 is about twice 
of what the coverage they're getting for with that premium is. Because the difference, obviously, between an F and a G is that Part B deductible, which goes from $183 a month in 2018 to $185 in 2019. So a big $2 increase, and you're paying 30 plus bucks a month for it on a G, uh, F over a G. So there's a, a great way for you to walk in, do an analysis, speak to the choices that your prospect or client has available to them, throw in applicable underwriting information as need be. You can access electronically in their house, print it out, go ahead and speak to different things ahead of time, which may slow down your, your closed process or not. You could basically then create a PDF of this information, save it in electronic files. For those of you who are still tactile and want paper, print it off of them and put it in your client's file. Print it off and take it with them if you're not supplying it ahead of time. Um, or you could print it there, of course. Uh, save it in an Excel format so it can go through in just a different function. This comes out looking really nice in this circumstance. But what we can then do, too, is look at other pieces of the pie that the Medicare Supplement Quote Engine has made available to us. And let's say we go into a household and we're visiting with a person doing a Medicare Supplement Analysis, and they're saying, I understand you can offer me a G plan at $145 because of my age and health circumstances. But one of the reasons I had you out here it's because I can no longer afford that and my PDP cost. And I'm hearing a lot about those plans that don't require premium from me. Can you tell me about them? If they've brought that topic up, what you then have is an opportunity to compliantly speak to them about their Medicare Advantage programs as well. You create and sign a scope of appointment going through all facets of Medicare health uh, coverage, and that includes the ancillary benefits that, that are now part of many of the scopes of appointment, and you have an opportunity to discuss a multitude of programs. Keep in mind, you didn't need that uh, scope of appointment when you were only speaking to MedSUPS. Governed differently than the Medicare Advantage or Part B world. So let's say you go in there, and that person is an MA plan member and is, or is not, but they've heard a lot about the different options they have available. They didn't do anything during the, old, the recent annual uh, election program or election period that has just passed, and they've heard a lot about this Aetna program that allows not only them to have the coverage without additional premium, but also uh, give them the coverage through an HMO type of platform that does uh, help with the Part B buyback as well. So when we look at that and we select that program, this then gives us the opportunity after that scope has been uh, completed to go through and discuss the benefits for that plan on its own. And it allows you to show all the details. You can save this for them um, and get them additional information from the carrier. And obviously you should be speaking to this as a contracted, licensed, and certified agent for those programs. But it then allows you to say, okay, this is some of the differences that you'll see from a MedSUP program to a Medicare Advantage program. And this is how we have a certain determination of why you don't pay a premium. And that's because you pay a little bit as you go along. So you've got some holes in the coverage that you need to be aware of and make certain that you're prepared for that payment. And that lays them out for you. When we are very familiar with the Medicare Advantage world, generally a couple of things really pop to mind as to what can really drive up a person's out-of-pocket exposure in these programs. They got a max out-of-pocket. This program, it's a nice $3,400 amount, 
But if you look at $3,400 over the course of the year, it's about $180 per month in ad hoc premium. How do we then cover that? Well, you can fill the gaps. We can look at what makes a difference in that world with the hospital indemnity program. And that's when it gives us then an opportunity to visit different companies. We can choose whomever. Aetna has their own hospital indemnity program, but for this purpose, what we're seeing is a plan that's available that will help Pardon me, frozen here for a minute. With benefits that need attention. The two things as I was getting to before that drive up a cost on an MA plan are hospital stays and therapeutic radiology treatments, so things for the treatment of cancer. Both of which, as an independent agent, you have in your pocket as a hospital indemnity program and a cancer or critical illness program that can cover those programs. And this then allows you to go in and build a plan for those considerations. Well, we've got the radiology treatment here. We want to add a benefit to it. Well, gee, in those circumstances, it's an 80-20 benefit on the plan itself. You have 20% co-insurance as a member for that coverage. It's a $3,400 maximum out of pocket. Let's say we'll cover the bulk of that at $3,000. So they have that coverage at $9.60 and a base benefit here where we're looking at other co-pays. Bear with me a second. I'm freezing here. That we can then go through and make certain that we cover as well. Inpatient hospital care, $100 a day. Let's look at a $300 program. So we've got $19.80. Nine, oh, there you go. $9.60. So we've got $19.40. We've got $28.40 for a program that will cover the things that drive up their costs on a Medicare Advantage program very quickly. You're getting a great peace of mind for Q. Two key benefits that are covered with their Medicare Advantage plan, but not completely covered. So it's a great way then to utilize it to get them some additional coverage, get them additional peace of mind, create another revenue stream for you in that household, and do it whether or not you're the agent that wrote their base Medicare Advantage plan or not. If that person has said, as we talked earlier in this illustration, that they invited you out because they could no longer afford their Medicare supplement programs and they're looking for a Medicare Advantage plan, at this point in time, writing them the Medicare Advantage plan after securing that scope of appointment will depend upon whether or not they have an SEP, a special election period, to change coverage right now anyway. So we have to eat the elephant at a bite, a bite at the time, but go through and show them some of the comparisons and show them how um, when we're able to write the base coverage, how we can get them additional coverage, or if you're in a household, a person was saying, well, I wanted to have you out here to talk about Medicare supplements because I'm not really comfortable with the network. You show them a Medicare supplement quote, they're less comfortable with the premiums that are involved with it. You then have a conundrum where that person says, well, I've got to stay with my current Medicare Advantage plan because I can't afford that med stuff and a PDP program, you then are able to fill the gaps utilizing this little piece of the Medicare supplement program. As I mentioned before, though, you can also then give you an opportunity to speak to the dental coverage or lack thereof on their current programs, book them dental coverage through this, and uh, create that process of additional coverage, obtaining additional coverage for them, um, an additional policy for you, and walk through it in that fashion. So what we're doing here is using this program 
to help us sell Medicare supplement programs, but also walk out of the house with the sale, even if they choose not to change their base medical coverage uh, anyway. So a nice way of using the quote engine for a number of circumstances to make it work. So bear with me. Some other things that we can do for you here at Premier, in addition to the, the tools that you have for with the, the quote engine itself, and pardon me, I kind of jacked up our system here. There we go. We do offer discounted E and O to qualified agents. Those are agents that are contracted with us for at least one program, but still want to work as a truly independent agent. There are a number of agents out there that even though they like our services, they work in an area where there is a local MA plan that we don't offer them. We don't offer everything, it's the way it is. Um, can't always serve all masters, but you still need the E&O coverage for that program. This gives you, for a reasonable monthly premium, the opportunity to cover all of your insurance programs, regardless of you, who you have them contracted through. Certain circumstances, um, marketing organizations may offer you complimentary E&O for the plans that you contract with through them. Generally, when that's happening, they don't have everything you've got either. You still need E&O. This is a great way to cover yourself in those circumstances. We do also offer a discounted means of completing your continuing education to keep your license in place. We also offer a non cancelable DI program for brokers that are a great way of getting yourself disability income programs as well for yourself. And this program here, Assurance Bay, allows you to create a profile of yourself and then electronically fill in other additional contracts where it goes through and helps make certain that that contract is totally complete. It's in a fashion where the carrier can read it. Most of us have hand writing that leaves something to be desired, and it gives you the opportunity then to make certain that you have everything that you need to. Bear with me. Here we go. We also offer additional training programs and resources that can help you not only with concepts of uh, selling, um, but also some product uh, pieces as well that are done for our organization in conjunction with the different carriers, with different marketing programs that give you an idea on how to work your community for leads, how to make full use of a, a mail order or a mail, direct mail program, marketing to churches, marketing to providers. Uh, these, in many circumstances, you can watch for them to come on live, or you can access the library that is uh, filled with pre-recorded versions of them from an earlier space and time. We do also offer electronic support in addition to the quote engine that we're visiting about today. There are also remote ways of enrolling people, a really cool program called Medicare Center that allows you to access um, and store the scope of appointment you need for many of these programs um, and create a remote enrollment process all compliantly. Um, neat way of doing it. We also offer different incentive programs that include carrier trips, additional carrier incentives, and our own trip that we have for our contracted agents each and every year as well. A nice central place for you to find that. We do have a program too called Coverage Made Easy, which is a great way for a small fee each month to put your social media marketing efforts on autopilot and have someone else do it for you. Great way of doing it. Um, a great way also to cross market for final expense with the postseason game plan. Um, the folks with this organization have a great way for you to go back to your book of business and take care of this vital need that each and every one of us have. And we also offer other ways of getting you in front of folks. 
in the Medicare supplement world, you can go and call. You can't do that with every other um, program that's out there, but you can with all Medicare supplement plans, but one, many folks are very proficient at this. Some of them actually like doing it, and we can provide you a list that is vetted against the do not call um, restraints and also um, with the parameters that you want based on location, income, a number of other factors as well. The cost for that? Well, if you're working with our team here in Dallas, um, we do that on a complimentary basis. We also recommend that if you do make use of that, consider more than just the turning 65 list. There's obviously a great need in that area, but there are also a great many of people chasing it too. So if you look at 66 or 67 year olds, those folks may have received in a price increase already with their current program, and there is less competition for these individuals. So a great way to work it that way. If you are active in cost selling and also offer uh, life insurance, annuities, consider looking at the 70 year old because that required minimum distribution kicks in at 70 and a half. You're gonna use a demand product to get a visit with the folks and then discover they have dollars that you can help them save by doing something with them instead of letting the government take half of it in that distribution process. Some of the other things that we do community-based, we are one of the organizations that offer retail marketing programs through different carriers and through the Walmart program as well. Some organizations or locations may have this available year-round, some it may be only during AEP. We do also offer a way of visiting with faith-based organizations and creating either an ad hoc camp for people to come to their church and visit with you on a scheduled basis, or you can stage seminars as well, and we offer the PowerPoints that give you the substance for the topics that you're looking to offer at this particular location. It's a great way to get in touch with people who may not respond to other means of marketing or advertisement, um, and it creates a great atmosphere of trust for you as well. Some of those presentations include a number of topics on Medicare, um, and other programs can come into play as well. We also offer programs that help you market to providers. These are um, ways of working not only doctor's offices, but dentists, home health carriers, durable medical equipment companies, sometimes even hospitals, and to work as a source of leads throughout um, the year. There are certain carriers that because of the, the business volume we do with them, will offer leads to our agents. A lot of that depends on the agent as well, and some of them may be what I refer to Lazarus as a Lazarus lead, you got to resurrect them, but there are people to talk to, and those are some things that are available through us, and we do help subsidize the cost of mail for folks that are doing business with us as well. These are the vendors that we have the arrangement with for those particular discounts. There are a number of other organizations if you're looking to do it in the final expense arena. Some of the carriers themselves at mail programs, marketing support programs that can make a difference for you on an ongoing basis. A really innovative one with Mutual of Omaha that we can get you additional details on as well. Some folks are aware of the power of the internet and like to use it as a lead generator. If you're doing this in the Medicare arena, be very careful in documenting when and where you got those leads and how they were generated because if the complaint comes up off of it, you bought it from a company marketing this way, well, you gotta be able to testify, I get the lead and that was generated. We feel that with all the changes going on in society, the answers for the questions our prospects have are available to you. That's why you are crucial in this process of making it work. We want to work with you as a partner, in this endeavor, endeavor, and it's all then a question of you deciding, deciding what you want as part of your portfolio and agreeing to 
work a plan, and work through it. This is the contact information for Premier. The 800 number will get you in touch with any marketer that you've been working with. This is the contact information for our folks here in the Dallas office. So we went through a lot of information fairly quickly, right about at the time extent that I thought we'd be able to do it. I want to, however, answer a couple of questions that are popping up. Um, one person mentions that they're new to sales and insurance. Do they need a scope of appointment for every supplement? You don't need a scope of appointment for a supplement at all. You need it for MA and PDP programs, so it's a bit different than what you might have in other parts of the world. We will make certain that we have the information sent to you as well and a marketer following up on today's presentation since it has been recorded and it, along with other resources, will be sent to you at uh, a, probably later today, but most certainly before the weekend. With that said, I want to thank you for coming on the line with us today, spending some time, uh, that most valuable resource that you have available, your time, and visiting with us. We look forward to doing business with you in the very near future and looking forward to visiting with you even quicker than that. But in the meantime, we wish you good selling and happy holidays. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.